What's up good people, Vlad here. Let me introduce you to the hands down the best keyboard I have reviewed so far. Not only that, but best gaming keyboard ever. When you use this keyboard to play games, especially competitive online games, it will feel like cheating. Wonder why? Find out after the message from our sponsor. Looking for affordable Windows or Office keys? Look no further, I got you covered. Head over to scdkey.com, pick your Windows edition, use my discount code ELITE25 to get a 25% on any Windows or Office products. Once you complete your order, after a few seconds you will receive your code. In Windows, go to Settings, there should be an Activate Windows prompt at the bottom, click that, enter your code and wait for Windows to finish activation. To check the activation status, use the command prompt with a command SLMGR dot vbs slash xpr and you should receive a notification that the machine is permanently activated. Once again, use code le25 at scdkey.com. So let's do a quick unboxing first so I can show you what is in the box and then we will see what makes this keyboard so great. The box is actually so cool with the names of all the supporters who helped finance a Kickstarter campaign for this keyboard. Once opened, you can see the instructions on how to assemble the strap which this keyboard has on the side, which really looks cool and there is of course a postcard here, a nice little detail. The keyboard is covered with a plastic cover which you can use later as a dust cover by the way. And of course here is the keyboard itself, cool case design with angled front edge, yellow rubber feet on the back and with this PBT thick keycaps. So here is the yellow take control strap, we also have a black and yellow USB-C to A cable and in this bag we have a rubber band and screws for this strap. There's a keycap puller here and we have a lacquer switch and I think that you can see why this is the best keyboard so far. You see these switches? These ain't your regular switches, it's a whole effect magnetic switch, it can detect pressure point and actually can measure how much did you press the switch. Basically this is an analog switch, it doesn't have just on and off position, let's say that this one can measure from 0 to 100 of how much you press the button. Attaching a strap on the left side of the keyboard is straightforward, no need to explain how. The case is angled in the front to give it a less thicker feeling of the case, which is plastic by the way, with no adjustable fit, but it's already perfectly slanted, so for me personally I think this is already positioned as it should be. Let me just say that... My mic fell off. Let me just say that it has a dampening foam in the case, also a gasket between the switch plate and PCB. Switches are hot swappable, but considering that these are the whole effect switches, doesn't mean a lot to you since you can't install another or I mean regular switches here, since this keyboard got no soldered parts for the regular switches, it has no two pins. So if there is any other whole effect switch that you know of, you can install it here. So from here on we will focus more on the features this keyboard has and what makes it 10 times better than anything on the market today. It's of course the switches. I mean everything else is great of course, it has double shot PBT keycaps, real good ones, all the goodies inside that I already mentioned, foam padding, dampening of the switch plate as well. Oh and you can actually swap the case to a tofu aluminium case for example, as the PCB and plate are 100% compatible, which will make it even better. For now it's good as is, but I am just giving you more options. Alright, these switches. These are the Gateron and Wooting working together to make a lacquer switch. It's not a regular switch, it does have a spring inside, it has a stem, but it does not have a copper leaf which actually registers a key press. Instead it has a tiny magnet which PCB can recognize how much is pressed down. Basically it's a completely analog switch. Let me show you how everything is controlled. Best part is that it needs no software but it has software which you don't need to install. Wait, what, what, what? Yeah, it uses a web utility or how they call it the utility. When you first connect the keyboard to the utility, it might offer you to update the firmware. Please do so and 
Just be advised, since this keyboard has some functions that other keyboards do not, it is advised to use the included cable rather than the generic ones. The RGB effects are mostly tired and done at this point, it has plenty and RGB on the keyboard itself is perfectly lit. But these whole sensing switches allow you for a few fun effects that we've not seen before in any other keyboards. So the touch shows you exactly how far are you pressing down the switch with jelly and AOE showing of a glowing effect that grows in brightness based on how hard you are pressing a key. Okay, this is basic stuff, things get interesting in the performance tab. You see you have the ability to set the actuation point of your switches, all or per switch as well. The default is 1mm but you can set it from 0.1 to 4.0mm and there is an option to do so. So let's see, here you can set WASD for example to have a lower point or higher depending how you like it. There is also an option of rapid trigger, basically when you set this option the actuation is over immediately when you lift your finger or the switch is depressed for 0.1mm. The next key press is registered immediately upon pressing it down. So no need to wait for it to go back up top, it's a midpoint reaction. This for example in some competitive FPS games can feel like cheating as it will shorten your response time for the time the switch needs to go back. This will allow you to move quicker in some games, react faster and pull off complex movements in games like Apex Legends with the utmost ease. The final feature is named Tachyon Mode and it speeds up the board's response time to react under 1 millisecond and polling is at 1 millisecond. It also disables any fancy RGB effects you might have in order to minimize latency, making this keyboard perfect for esports gamers. Under the remap tab in the utility you can remap any key and also change functions of some layers. Since this is a 60% keyboard aka 61 keys, you have as many layers as you wish apart from the regular 3 layers, so multiply the layer number with the number of keys this keyboard has and you have that many keys. It's a mini keyboard, suddenly it looks so big. Of course you need to remember it all, but again you have the option to make it a monster in a small package, of course. I had no issues when mapping keys to the board, saving profiles or making any use of the software which is exceptional. Even a firmware update on this board was painless. It's not an easy feature to produce browser-based software that can pull these features off, but Wooting has somehow managed to do it. So when using this board for other applications beside gaming, I found it great to use. The lacquer switches sounded fantastic when typing, the switch feels bouncy and light, but alongside the adjustable actuation point we were able to configure a typing profile for this board particularly. This profile has a higher actuation force, I mean point, and felt much better to type on than the factory settings as it reacted a bit later or slower to the press, so if for some reason you accidentally tap on a JSON key, it won't register it, and if you type hard, I mean if you bottom out the keys, this is perfect for you then. Take a listen to how it sounds. So how did it sound to you? For me personally it sounds great, I would advise on lubing the switches as it is possible, it just needs that special touch of Crytox to sound perfectly. The stabilizers are ok, they do come factory lubed, again I would do a holy mod as I always do, but I must admit that this is the best sounding spacebar so far, no warping, no wobbling, it's a nice work from wooding. On top of it all, this keyboard has a gamepad mode as well, so it's good for racing games such as Forza racing games. 
It will detect throttle as much as you press it, brake as well. It's a completely analog feeling, it's acting as a gamepad and you will have a visual representation of the force pressed on the keyboard on the number row. In the utility you have the option to adjust the reaction curve of the switches. So far I haven't seen this option on any keyboard. So in the end, should you buy this keyboard? Who is it targeted towards most? So this is a gaming keyboard through and through, cutting edge features not seen on any keyboard on the market. The price is around 170 US dollars and it might be a bit steeper for a 60% sized keyboard, but considering it's aimed towards esports gamers and that is not a gimmick at all and will give you a competitive edge over the other players, then it's definitely worth it. These features are second to none. The web browser based controls are an icing on the cake. You can modify it even further with a custom set of keycaps as the layout is standard and switch stems are cherry style. So not just with keycaps, but you can change the case if you want to. The only con that I have found for such keyboard is the lack of a better case and that it has no adjustable feet. Yes, it's already angled at a good angle, but I like having options. So in conclusion, Wooting 60 HE is the fastest keyboard out there and it manages to surpass the output of most mainstream brands which costs more or less the same. It just doesn't get much better than this and if you like full-sized keyboard, Wooting is preparing the Wooting 2 HE which is a full-sized keyboard. I would also like to see a 75% layout as well, the mid-ground. And also there is no wireless options, but I believe that Having all these features are not possible using the wireless option. So yeah, that's it guys. See you in the next one. Hope you like this video. Sub to the channel. It really means a lot. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.